Hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Leos. This is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Keep in mind that these are just general messages, so not everything will resonate. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what does Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus needs to know right now? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay, so you have the King of Swords. You have the um, Devil card. The Page of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles as well as the two of pentacles. So as far as what you need to know right now with the um, king of swords card coming out in your reading, you guys have someone who is trying to muster up the courage to tell you the truth about a situation. This is someone that you're not on speaking terms with. And this is someone that you may be speaking to them, but you're actually falling back, meaning they did something shysty or they did something that left a bitter taste in your mouth to the point you slowly but surely started to fall away or walk away from the relationship or the friendship. Someone feels that they need to uh, muster up the courage to tell you their truth. I don't know why I'm feeling someone say, I just want Leo to hear my side of the story. This person may be um, someone that has um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, somewhere in their chart, but it doesn't have to be. Now, even though I said this person wants to muster up the courage to tell you the truth or their side of the story, However, it doesn't necessarily have to be this person. It could also be your energy that feels that, you know, you got to give this person a piece of your mind in a way where you kind of kept your mouth closed because you were like, you know what? I'm not going to blow up on you at this time. But now you, you got your you got your mind uh, calm, cool, and collected, you're ready to give them a piece of your mind. I'm not sure how that's making sense, but it's basically someone who hold back um, doing a time where they could have went off on someone. Either you were choosing to hold back from going off on this person, but now that you're m more calm, you're willing to have a conversation to them or I said to them, you're willing to have that conversation with this person now that you're more calm. Hmm. Yeah, this person, they are very much um, a person that's full with ego. They're very egotistical. They're very arrogant, but <laughs> let them tell it. <laughs> they are the saint. They are the most angelic being. Let them tell it. But they're very full with ego, with pride. And this person, at times, they can be a bit materialistic. Like, they love to be braggadocious about what they got. They just love to say, you know, I bought this, I bought that. Oh, I know such and such. I'm friends with this. I'm friends, I'm friends with she. I'm friends with he. This is a very braggadocious person. And I am feeling, as far as other energies that you may need to know, I am feeling to tell a particular Leo, there is going to be a newer opportunity that is going to be offered to you. This could be in terms of career or this could be in terms of a partnership or a relationship, this newer opportunity. And with this opportunity, this is something that you um, have been trying to get for quite some time you have been praying about it or trying to manifest it mentally through your thoughts or your words and i'm feeling to tell a particular leo you'll be receiving some sort of communication regarding this opportunity so when this opportunity does come in 
I'm feeling to tell a particular group of Leos to check your email, like check your email, your inbox or your junk mail for this particular opportunity that will come in in the form of an email for some of you guys. For others of you, you guys may want to um, check your voicemails so that you don't miss this voicemail when it comes in because this opportunity, whoever is offering this opportunity, they're not going to wait around. They're not going to wait around. However, I am feeling good about this opportunity for you Leos because the 10 of Pentacles card came out in your reading. There's a lot of fulfillment and prosperity that will surround this opportunity. This could be something that has to do with small children. I don't know if someone that watches me, you want to do something with social work, daycare, something with small children, and this may also have something to do with pets as well. Um, someone who is good with pets. Um, yes, so that is great. And yeah, you also have the two of pinnacles. So yes, this is going to bring balance for you actually. You're going to have more balance because there's someone that may feel that their finance is not and the best shape of form. So you're going to have the ability to have more control and more balance over your finance with this opportunity. And for someone, you may have a choice between two different opportunities actually, but I feel that you're going to go with the one that makes more sense. Okay, please give me some more messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me more messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me more messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Three of Cups and the Tower card. So yes, with the Three of Cups card coming out and this reading, there's a lot of happiness that's going to surround this opportunity. And this is something that deals with the community. So this could be social work, this could be daycare, this could be um, you um, being some sort of guidance counselor. And actually, um, how dare you, I'm so sorry. But this moth just flew into my reading. I don't know if you saw what just flew over um, the camera, but yeah. That was a nosy moth. So this could be something in terms of the community, but there's a lot of happiness that's going to surround you. And when this does happen, the fact that the tower card came out in your reading, it's going to provide some sort of change and freedom for someone that's been trying to balance their finance. Okay, so I'm, I'm excited, I don't know. Who this opportunity is for but look at this card underneath well on top of the deck which would have been the next card in the reading it's the eight of wands card this card it symbolizes excitement so yes there's going to be a lot of excitement when you receive this offer or opportunity so um congratulations in advance when it does come to you leo please hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. If this reading did not resonate with you, please also watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus if you know what that sign is. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.